Okay, so by now, most of you probably read or heard about the list Diocese of Sacramento release, which names 44 priests in our area accused of sexual abuse. While many of you were shocked to learn their names in the report, a lot of you weren't surprised at all. So why is that? Let's connect the dots. The truth is, the sex abuse scandals in the Catholic Church go back several decades, and not just here in the United States, but in 2002, the Boston Globe broke the scandal in the U.S. The paper exposed that the church allowed a Boston priest known for molesting boys to transfer from one parish to another. The church ordered him to get treatment, but it still kept him in ministry despite being accused of sexually abusing about 130 people. If this sounds familiar, that's because this story was adapted into the award-winning movie Spotlight in 2015. After the Globe's reporting, victims from all over the country started coming forward. Since then, lawsuits from victims have cost the church more than $3 billion. In 2010, the Catholic Church was in the spotlight again after allegations of sexual abuse were made known in multiple countries, including Brazil, Spain, Germany, and Ireland. In 2014, Pope Francis met with survivors and promised a zero tolerance for any members of the clergy who abused children. Fast forward to last year, 2018, one of the worst reports yet came out. A Pennsylvania grand jury released a report that said 300 priests abused 1,000 kids over the span of seven decades. It was then the Pope promised the Catholic Church would never cover up another scandal. And Vatican officials and diplomats now have to immediately report sexual abuse allegations to the police. Now, we cannot predict what happens in the future, but the Church hopes this will help stop abuse. We plan to keep covering the story in the days and weeks to come.